welcome to Daybreak News Recap, 25th September 2020. I am Becky Adi. The Director General of Lagos Emergency Management Agency, Dr. Olufemi Oke Osonitolu, has confirmed that 30 adults were injured, 23 buildings and 15 vehicles were also destroyed by the Iju Ishaga tanker explosion. He made the disclosure in an interview after putting out the fire at about 6 p.m. on Thursday in Lagos. The meeting between the federal government and organized labor over the recent hike in fuel price and electricity tariff has been postponed to Monday, September 28, for further deliberation. But unable to reach an agreement during a closed door meeting, Mr. Ayuba Waba, President of Nigerian Congress, told anxious newsmen a discussion would continue on Monday. The United Kingdom says it will expect absolute the sovereignty of Nigerian government, but also has the right to determine who to enter her country or not. Ms. Karuna Lani, British High Commissioner, to Nigeria made this remark during an orientation program for people with disability seeking children's scholarship opportunity in UK on Thursday in Abuja. The United States government has expressed satisfaction with the peaceful conduct of the Edo State Governorship election on September 19. The US government made this known in a message posted on Facebook page of the United States diplomatic mission to Nigeria on Wednesday as it hailed the people of Edo State for a credible and peaceful people. <music> President Muhammad Buhari says the company and aligned matters act 2020, which he recently signed into law, would be enhanced transparency and corporate accountability. This was disclosed in a statement titled CAMA Act will help us fight corruption. President Buhari explained at UNGA High Level Summit by Femi Adeshino, the special advisor to President on Media and Policy. That's all for now. You can follow us on our website, daybreak.ng, YouTube channel, Daybreak TV, and our Twitter handle, Daybreak News 247. Once again, I'm Becky Adina.